This is a film about my third day on the Trans Sweden Trail. In the last episode, my motorcycle got stuck on a forest road and I eventually ended up in the Risveden area of Vastra Gotaland, where I camped out next to a lake. Good morning guys. So, uh, I actually had a very good night of sleep. Compared to last year, I had very trouble sleeping in this. Well, not so much trouble, but sleeping for longer periods of time in this hammock. I am now like totally gone when I close my eyes, so it's very nice. We had to rain all night long, so I'm happy that I pitched the hammock. Usually I do it even though uh, there will be no rain, I just like the, the feeling of being sheltered a bit. But it's early, it's just past seven. I think I'll uh, have a coffee, clean myself up, try to start the day early and uh, I think I'll have to check if the weather uh, will be okay. Just to give you a uh, small impression of uh, where I slept today, where I spent the night. So uh, I actually tried to find, tried to use a shelter. I don't think the video is gonna pick it up. But um, yeah, like way over there. But when I eventually came there, it was already taken. So I had to uh, move on. Um, well, it was gonna rain so I really needed something quick so while I was already trying to figure out where I was going I actually stumbled on this place so um, as you can see here this is how I hang the hammock were the only two trees that were you know um, up to par when it came to uh, tying the hammock because all the other trees were either too close or too far uh, apart um, it was raining, so I had to put all my stuff under there, and it always uh, it's always dry. So uh, yeah, that's nice. I mean, without without a tarp, I would really be lost uh, in these kind of days. For uh, as as far as the two uh, Moscomoto bags, uh, the side panniers, I just roll them up and uh, leave them there. I mean, they're waterproof. Actually, the duffel too that's there, but for convenience reasons, I just leave it uh, next to the hammock. So there's a small little trail going up there and uh, about, I think, 30 meters away, I parked my bike. Uh, I don't want to use these kind of trails to uh, move my bike next to the hammock. It's not necessary, uh, only ruins uh, the nature. And then it started raining again. So that's the nice uh, thing about a tarp. Again, it's raining and I have to pack my stuff but uh, I can do it in a way that I can protect the hammock from uh, water by just leaving, uh, leaving the tarp as it is and packing my stuff. So again, uh, very uh, happy with the hammock equipment. So after packing my stuff, I continued on the TST Blue Vastra Gotaland, heading towards Zwarte Dalen. the Vastara Gotaland part of the TST. I am now at a uh, nature reservoir called Zwarte Dalen and the roads here are yeah, just great. I mean it's, it's light gravel but uh, you know the incline and declines, the, the small hills, I mean it just makes it great to ride. You know you're you're where it's possible I'm you know going full throttle but uh, course when we hit uh, more an area of more uh, residents I'll try to slow down but just stop 
at a small lake right now. It's been raining uh, most of the time. There's no rain right now, so I'm uh, gonna try to attach the GoPro again to the helmet because uh, I can't be bothered to record uh, with the GoPro when it's raining. But um, yeah, I'll be uh, trying to get about 200 kilometers again today and uh, see if I can uh, find a real shelter uh, this time. So uh, stay tuned. Look at this view, absolutely stunning. Big incline. Hope you can pick it up with the GoPro. <laughs> oh, this is great. Great farm roads and twisty gravel tracks. I stumbled upon a nice lake and decided it was time for a lunch break and a moment of silent reflection. So I just found a nice spot to uh, take a lunch break. It's also a nice spot to uh, camp out wild. There's some trees here. I see some other people have been doing it too because there's been a fire here. But hey, it's still very early in the day, so uh, it's not an option. Funny enough, there was also someone else with a motorcycle there who I didn't see, who had a stop here. I just noticed it when he started his bike. <laughs> Maybe if, uh, if, if I would have seen him, I'd uh, paid him a visit, but hey. minding my own business well it's time for a lunch break these lakes in Sweden always bring such a feeling of tranquility when you're riding all day but as always, I have to move on and drive for some more hours. That was a bit too much. A nice spot but really nowhere to hang the hammock so that will be a bit tough we got a fallen tree over here but it is a nice nice spot I just can't be bothered to get my cooking gear and 
make some dinner over here because I have to pack everything up again because I cannot uh, hang the hammock here. So let's uh, go on and uh, find some other place which might be suitable. Well, this is obvi obviously a green road instead of a blue road with the type of terrain changing. I like it. Reminds me more of the Tet, uh, there's more variation between different types of terrain. While the Tet Bla or Blue is more orientated at gravel, although the, the roads are still awfully nice. And then all of a sudden you wind up in an open field with like a big rock over there. Again to some it might you know seem uh, regular but for me you know as a Dutchman this kind of stuff just amazes me and that's exactly the reason why I'm not like speeding or making it a rally but rather enjoying it you know driving slow observing the the nature around me and it really you know provides a feeling of yeah I don't know how to call it gratitude or you feel like <laughs> I don't want to get too whooshy but you feel inner peace I think is the, is the right word when you see so much beauty in, uh, in nature around you when you're uh, going through these uh, great tracks so after a long day of riding I could not find a decent wild camping spot and decided to just stay on a camping site there was only one tree available, so thanks to a trick I learned from Matthias Eriksson, I pitched the hammock using my motorcycle, uh, one tree and a pole, a tar pole. And I really regret not doing this at the other spot where I had the lake to myself. Um, it was a stupid decision, but you know, it was already late, so time for a simple dinner, some stretching of the legs, and uh, I'll guess you, I'll see you in the next video.